So a compound shape is a shape that is made up of um, more than one other shape. So it could be made up of rectangles, uh, triangles, uh, bits of circles, for example, and we might be asked to find the area or the perimeter of such a shape. So I'm going to work through this example. I'm going to want to be able to find both the area and the perimeter of this shape. So the key thing to do in a lot of cases of this is to write down any lengths that you can see um, that aren't already given to you, okay? Because they may well come in useful. So if you know, for example, that this side is five centimeters and then it goes up another four centimeters as it does there, then the whole thing must be nine centimeters high. And so this length must be nine centimeters. And likewise, if you know that the whole length of the shape is 8 centimetres, but you know that that portion of it is 3, so we go all the way up to 3, and then what must be left is 5 centimetres. So this must be 5 centimetres long, this section. So once we've done that, if you're wanting to find the area, then... What you want to do is split the shape up into shapes that you know you can work the area out for. So, you could split this in different ways. You could, for example, find the area of the whole shape and take away the area of that rectangle there. Or, you might split the shape this way. Find out the area of that shape, add it to the area of that shape, and then you've got the area of the whole shape. You could split it down this way, okay, and do a similar area of this shape plus the area of that shape gets you the whole area. So whichever way round you do it, it doesn't matter. Each of them will give you the same area. I'm going to run with this one that I've drawn last. So we've got five centimetres by 5 centimetres, so this is actually a square, so this has area of 25 centimetres squared, 5 by 5. This rectangle is 3 by 9, so the area of this rectangle is 3 times 9, so 27 centimetres squared. So the total area is 27 plus the 25, okay, so that gets me 52 centimetres squared. So that would be the area of the whole shape. If I want to find the perimeter, then what I did initially to find those missing lengths is really a bonus, because ultimately that just means that I just need to add up all the way around the shape, all of the lengths that I have circled in red there. So 9 centimetres, 3 centimetres, 4, 5, 5, then back 8. So I've got 9 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus the last 8 gets me 12, 16, 21, 26, 34. So 34 centimetres. Okay? So the area is measured in centimetres squared because it is what is inside, okay, square centimetres, the area inside. And perimeter is measured in centimetres in this case because it is our length. And that is how we can work out the area and perimeter of a shape like this.